Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, oh no. Today we're gonna be playing more Farm Nights at Freddy's VR and I swear there's a button back there, here, no, whatever. Um. So um, last time we played FNAF 2 Night 1 and Night 1 of FNAF 1, or I don't know if that was a different video. Oh boy, today we're going to be playing night two of FNAF 2. See? Mm. Uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know. And later on we're going to be reviewing some of the tapes. Because we didn't get to finish last time, yay! No, no yay, no. Those tapes made me feel insecure about that thing, glitch trap I think. Again, I'm sorry if I'm quiet. This is just a very intense.
What is that? Duk, 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 duk. What is that noise? I am so confused right now. Uh, uh, what? Oh God, scared me. What? I'm so confused. Um. Let's do that again, I guess. I I was so confused. I don't know what was happening. I was like tuk 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 and I couldn't do anything. <sighs> okay, let's just try again.
to see if they added that Easter egg to this game. Oh, let's go. Let's actually do it. It's 6 a.m. boys. Bagak bagak. What kid would want that? Whatever, whatever, Fred Bear, whatever, whatever you are, whoever you are, EY is. What? What you looking at? Alright, I'm ending this video off with tapes. I'm gonna try to bet I'm gonna reveal your secrets, huh? So we ended up with tape three, right? Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean... They sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then... He started appearing. At you. least that's what Jeremy said. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office. But it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. <gasps> Not Jeremy. All right, so I'm going to have to end this video off here. I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Um, well, that's all I have to say. Next time, I promise I'll make a longer video. It's just that my legs really hurt. I did exercise yesterday. I don't usually do exercise, but yeah, that's why. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.